Hi everyone, it's Deiru here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are painting windows black. And if you wanna paint windows black without the chipping and peeling, this is the place. And you know, it all comes down to the paint. This paint right here is a game changer for painting windows, especially if you have vinyl windows and you wanna go black, you wanna use this paint. It's durable, it's vinyl safe, it's pre-tinted, and it is UV resistant. That is so important for windows and you're gonna learn why right now. You wanna start off by sanding your windows with a fine 220 grit sandpaper. Then use a lint-free cloth to remove any dust. When it comes to priming for this paint, you have to use a white colored primer that is good for vinyl or aluminum or whatever window you are painting. It is critical that you use a white colored primer because that is what is required by the manufacturer. It also helps reduce heat transfer to the surface of your window. Before priming, we're using painter's tape to protect our window seals and white trim. With your window clean, it is now time for primer. I'm using a two inch sash brush to cut in for the primer and paint to avoid streaks. For a window this size, it only takes a few minutes of priming and you're done. In one hour, the primer is dry and we're on to a quick light sand. Primers are often overlooked, but it's one of the most important parts of your paint job. And now we are ready to start painting our first coat of black paint. We're working fast here, guys. This paint is different unlike any other paint you've used. It's specially formulated for windows, but you can only touch up the paint within five minutes of application. I'm just coming back to this so I get a new wet edge. If you do notice a drip up here after 10 minutes, leave it until it's fully dried and then you can go over and touch it up so that's the key with this paint after 10 minutes you do not want to go over it so this is an acrylic latex and why this is important is it is very resistant to expansion and contraction and your windows especially vinyl will get a lot of expansion and contraction especially due to heat changes we're just going to wait for this to dry i'm going to show you now how to make this really smooth so you don't see the brush strokes after an hour with the paint dry and after a light sand it's on to the second and final coat which is quick done in only a few minutes Okay, let's get that roller on here and I'll show you how you knock this down to get rid of those strokes. High density foam roller just to make it smooth. You actually don't want a lot of paint on the roller, just a little bit because you already have the paint here. This is just to really smooth it out. So I'm just gonna go over that and I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera or not. Hopefully it will, but you see it's just knocking that down a bit. Once this is painted, you wanna make sure that you don't touch your window and wipe it down with a cloth or with any soap and water for 30 days because the paint needs to cure so that it's nice and strong and it has a good bond. You also wanna make sure that you paint in the early morning or late afternoon. You don't wanna paint in the direct sunlight when it's really, really hot because the paint dries quickly and we really don't want that. When it comes to removing your painter's tape, you want to do it while the paint is wet. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next week, we'll see you in these videos right here to help you build your renovation and remodeling skills. Please subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks so much, see you guys.